Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 22 and chapter 8. Chapter 8 is about conservation of energy. As you can see, this model, we worked on it in the chapter 2. Do you remember? And oh, chapter 3, we find its acceleration and find its final velocity. So you can see box A and B is connected by this string. And then we just uh, let it go, release the mass B. And then this mass B will move down and uh, mass A will move up, right? So first one we need to find its acceleration. How can we do that? Do the force analysis. You can see for box A, we need to project the gravity into component. This one, MA, MAG sine theta. This side, MAG cosine theta. Therefore, we can write the equation for this one, right? And so at the y component, it is F minus mag cosine theta equals zero. The acceleration is zero. There is no motion on the y component. At the x component, we have the tension minus mag cosine theta equals mass times acceleration. Now look at the box B. At the box B, we have the gravity and the tension. And because we see, we see the A is moved up, B is moved up, so this one, the B, MBG minus the tension equals to the MB times acceleration A. There is acceleration A is same. Why? Because we can see these two box is connected by the string. This string never break or lose, right? So A and B must keep the same acceleration. So A and B is the same. Now we can solve these two equations, this equation and this equation. To get this, this function, add them together, we find this function look like that, and then we get the answer for acceleration. The next question is, can you find the final velocity for B? Yes. So, how can you do that? We consider at the initial position for the B, right? The velocity is zero, and the position for it is uh, H, agree? H. And then at the final position, the velocity for v, v2 is we want to know why 2 b is zero. Agree? Yes. Now we know acceleration, we know initial position, final position, and we know the initial velocity. Can you find the final velocity? Yes. Use our favorite equation, this one. Final velocity square minus initial velocity square equals 2a delta y, right? This delta y is just h. Then you input the acceleration inside, you get the velocity v2. This is how we solve the problems in chapter 3. We first do force analysis, get acceleration, and then we use our favorite equation to find the velocity. Is there any simple way to solve the problems? Yes. We can use the kinetic equation to solve these problems, right? So how can you do that? We can see at zero, we don't do the first analysis. We just look at this object. At its initial, as initial, the velocity for B is zero. The position for it is just H, right? And the position for A, we don't know. We say it is a Y, one A, agree? Yes. So the position for is y one a and then at the final, this b just moves on this ground. So velocity for the b is v two, right? We, we, this is we want to find, and position for b is y two b is zero because finally this position the box is zero for b. So position is zero. Now this because b moves h, so the a will be moves to zero, agree? Yes, A will move to zero. The distance for this distance is equal to this one because this is a string, right? So this is H. And the Y, then just look at the H. This is the length for this string. And then how much it moved in this vertical component, H sine theta, agree? H sine theta. So we can see finally the position for Object A is just a y1a plus h sine theta. Agree? Yes. So now we find the initial state and the final state, we can consider the conservation of energy. 
And it's the initial. The energy comes from the this part, the potential energy, because the kinetic energy is zero. It is stationary. A and B is stationary. So this one we get is the potential energy mbgy1 plus magy1a. Agree? And then at the final, uh, the energy included two parts. First, the kinetic energy. A and B, kinetic energy, both has a velocity V2, agree? Both has a velocity V2, so one half MA plus MB V2 square. We know this, this string never break or lose, so the velocity is same for A and B. So we get one half MA plus MB V2 square. Now we look at its potential energy. For B, the potential energy is zero, so we just look at A. It is MH times the position. Y1a plus h size there. In this one, you can say very, very easily, very obviously, we can, this one and this one can cancel. Agree? So we get this equation. And in, when we want to solve this equation, you can see h, uh, y is a given. Agree? Y1 is just the h. And then we can solve these problems. And the v2, what's that? It is, we solve it, it is this answer. Now we look at this equation compared with previous one. Are they same or not? Yes, they are same. Now the problem is done. Thank you.